so what uh, how to choose pcb material pcb material has to be selected totally based on the balance between design demand volume production and cost design demand involves electrical elements that should be taken into serious consideration during high speed pcb design in addition dielectric constant and dielectric loss should be considered whether they go with the frequency so we so many things are required while choosing pcb material okay so these are the things uh, and the next is how to avoid high frequency interference the leading principle to overcome high frequency interference is to reduce cross talk as much as possible which can be achieved by enlarging the distance between high speed signals and analog signals or equipping ground guard or shunt traces beside analog signals in addition the noise interference caused by digital ground on analog ground should be carefully considered that means while routing time uh, we need to take care analog and digital uh, uh, ground separation and the distance between analog section digital section and uh, shielding should be proper properly there like shielding in the sense that uh, uh wires should be properly uh given okay and uh, layer stack up should be proper like if it is four layer means top ground then power then bottom like that okay then next is how to arrange traces carrying differential signals two points should be focused in terms of traces carrying differential signal design on one hand the length of two line should be the same okay suppose a1 plus and a1 minus two signals are there then length of a1 plus and a1 minus both should be same okay trace length okay on the other hand the spacing between the two lines should maintain parallel parallel the spacing should be parallel okay then how to arrange traces carrying differential signal when there is only one clock signal line at output terminal only one clock the premise of traces carrying differential signal element is that both signal sources and receiving end should be differential signals therefore differential routing can never work on clock signals containing only one output end okay can match resistance be added dif between differential pairs at receiving end matched resistance is usually added between differential pairs at receiving end and its value is equal to that of differential impedance as a result signal quality will be better why should differential pair traces be close to each other and parallel differential pair traces should be properly close and parallel the distance between differential pair traces is determined by differential impedance that is the key uh, reference parameters in the terms of differential pair design differential pair like trace how will calculate trace with trace and uh, um, so, um, clearance between the gap pair gap between the two traces so that and all will depend upon the uh, uh, which layer you are routing differential pair whether it is in top layer or bottom layer or inner layer so that will depend that uh, layer stack up either client will give or manufacturer will give okay so you no need to worry about that and how to resolve the conflict between manual routing and auto routing in high speed on high speed signals now most automatic routers are able to control wire running method and number of through holes by setting constraint conditions all eda companies differ a lot from each other in terms of wire running method and constraint constraint condition setting the difficulty of automatic routing closely related with wire running capability therefore this problem can be resolved by picking up a router with high capability of wire running don't go for auto routing better go manual routing only in high speed pcb design the blank area of signal layer can be coated with copper how should copper be distributed on multiple signal layers and grounding and powering generally co copper coating is mostly connected with the ground in blank area the distance between the copper coating and signal line should be strictly designed because coated copper will reduce characteristic impedance a little meanwhile characteristic characteristic impedance of other layer should not be influenced okay can characteristic impedance on power plane be figured out by macro chip microstrip line model can macro uh, macro strip line model be 